There it is. That is the strike. And as I always do, he's in a secure place now. I think it's 10 days. I think it's 10 days since I last fed him. Um, doesn't matter too much. I mean, doesn't matter if you're that accurate, really. I mean, as long as you're 10 to 14 days out. And even if you're not, just leave it an extra week. It, it doesn't. It's not critical. Just go by your snake's body weight for what sex it is. You know, it, it, he's not massively overweight for a snake. In fact, he's not overweight at all. He he hangs around the 100 gram mark. And that's without being pooed out. So, that's a nice size snake. Um... And the reason I'm feeding him now is I can't remember when I last fed him. That's the truth of the matter. I can't actually remember when I last fed him. Um, so I'm deciding to feed him all at once. Quite a fast unconstrict. I must admit, I wonder if I can get a second strike in here. Yep. You got a second strike in as well. There you go. I mean, some people just let them feed in the enclosure. I don't like doing that. My reason for that being, I don't like the thought of them in dressing, not in dressing, ingesting all the substrate. As you can see, he's he's gonna probably lock on again onto the nose. I can tell you for a fact he is just the way he is. I just, for me. Right, guys, for me, I don't like the fact and the thought of him ingesting all that substrate while eating it. So I'll do it this way. Um, mate, what are you doing? What are you actually doing? You're never going to eat it that way. Never eating it that way. You might even get a second strike video here. And it can't literally, now he's got the right idea, it can literally be like that. That's how patient you got to be. Now, I feed him here. I don't want him to ingest all the substrate in his enclosure, which he would do. Um, probably wouldn't do any harm to him, if I'm honest, because he would. Um, the substrate I use is very, very water soluble, like, Put a bit in the water and it just it oh it practically dissolves it. It's like goes to like tissue. It passes through no problem. But my personal preference, I don't like that. Uh, so what I do is I let him strike, move him into this box, let him feed, then I place him back into his enclosure within the box and let him slide out on well sliver out and on his own accord. That provide well that. Let's face it, that. That don't provide any risk whatsoever. Whatsoever. He's coming out on his own accord. Um, 
all of my snakes trust me um, and what I do my hog nose would actually feed out of my hand right eat the food and allow me to put her back in and she doesn't regurgitate whatsoever that's so much my snakes trust me and and that's what I my corn snakes just gaping right it was I've had my mice in my bedroom um frosting for quite a while so they know it's feeding time they've all got their heads out um but my python's not fed again um hunger strike definitely but uh yeah it's just that's just the way things are with him um i don't know how they're getting feeding again everything's right the temperatures have always been right the humidity's right for my python it's just a uh, hunger strike let nature take its course he's at a nice weight he's at a thousand five hundred and ten grams for a male that's quite good in fact that's nice you know that's where you want to be um not overweight not underweight just so you want it not losing weight um yeah um as for my hog nose perfect again and then we're on to on to taz he's an absolute beaut as, as you can see he has a the dome across what percentage i don't know and cross with what i don't know because i bought him from a shop and uh they can be specific on what it was. But I don't care about that. I didn't care about that because my intention isn't to breed him. Uh, as all my snakes, you know, I love every single one of them. I've got five. And um, I think no less of one or the other. I'm going to turn my camera off now. My Not my camera, my camera light. Because at 10 minutes, it's just going to shut off. So if I turn it off briefly and turn it back on, that that will allow me to film in light for longer. Feeding most of my snakes today. Um, my corns, I believe, has gone for about three weeks without feeding. Usually, about two. Usually, two weeks for me. I could have fed my um, my pod sided pooter last week, uh, but my corn snake was the other one was in shed. And I thought the extra week ain't really doing any harm. I've turned the light back on now. You know, isn't doing any harm. So basically going to feed them more this week not the crack really if I turn it around this way bring it in focus it you'll be able to see a bit more we're going to get all the spasms coming because of the arms in the way Some people 
what I'm doing now, well, to test this. But as I'll say to them, you know, if it isn't broken, don't fix it. Now, the only reason I'm doing what I'm doing now is because it was broken. He wouldn't eat. And I found doing what I'm doing now gets him to eat. Um, and, and that's it, really. Everyone's different. Everyone's snakes are different. As long as they don't regurgitate a meal after you've fed, after you've done it, it actually really doesn't matter. As long as that meal isn't regurgitated. And on that note, I've never had one of my snakes regurgitate a meal. Not one. In fact, ever. So it's it, it's down to the owner and what the owner feel. And let's face it, if you did regurgitate a meal, you wouldn't do it again, would you? Now, this is Taz. Um, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. He's kept that 32.5 Celsius in temperature. Other spots of his heat mat could get slightly warmer. Um, he's on Lignosel bedding. And he loves life, as you can tell. When I first started out snakes, and um, I went with corns, because that's how I first started. I had a, I got an anathoristic corn snake, and then I ended up with a pod-sided pooter, both males. Um, both males, I mean, I said that a bit too fast. After that, I ended up with a hognose snake. Um, Izzy is my anxiety snake. She's just a dream. They're all a dream, but... Just something special about Izzy. Um, after that, I got this little boy. Who, again, has been fantastic. As all my snakes are. And then a friend of mine reached out to me and said, would I be interested in a python? Well, I had one plug, one plug socket actually left. And... You know, she wanted to come into me as I'm a friend, blah, blah, blah. Has a neurological issue. And so, of course, I said, yeah. And uh, so I got my fifth. He's now eating it all. He's now passing it down his body. And just a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you me releasing him back into his enclosure. As you can see, he's getting pretty... um on that verge now so i'm going to stop the video open his enclosure and get them back putting him back it's as simple as this it's in his enclosure at his own leisure it'll come up and come out as he is now <laughs> you can see, he's pretty chilled. And this is it, basically. And that's what I do. There is no right and wrong way here.
by doing this, I have never had one regurgitation. And he's a very happy snake. Cheers for watching, guys. This is the end of the video. There's nothing else to film. Catch you all soon. Night-night.